you're about to succeed left and right and it's going to feel so damn good welcome in my beautiful Librans to your monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of february 2024 i hope you're doing absolutely amazing but we're going to begin and pull a couple of these money and career oracles and then i have the tarot of dreams for the main part of your reading so let's jump into it one shuffle out of the way to begin for my lovely Librans for this upcoming month we're beginning with the nugget card okay good energy and then these two bear with me the cards are flying all over the place i feel like you're preparing for a shift in the right direction you may even be experiencing in another way a shift in the right direction or a release of stagnancy and maybe a lack of progression for a lot drawn to the reading there's a sense of things increasing growing prospering for you you're prospering through it all you're growing through it all it's a month libra where people are impressed and you're going to impress yourself and i feel like it's a time for you where step by step day by day piece by piece nugget by nugget you're making your way towards uh, a wealthy future um, they're saying a rich future let's just label it as that um, in more than one way but it's a month where you're needing to acknowledge and utilize strategically those small increases uh, to your advantage there may be one if not multiple uh, financial goals set in place uh, even if you don't have that set in place yet when watching this reading and therefore those small increases uh, will add up every bit counts i did get that message before um, but either way uh, needing to put your money aside or let it stay there and allow it to um, and push it to grow my friend there's a huge focus on saving this month um, and letting things add up for you but it's not just money adding up i feel like there's um, other numbers adding up for you growth once again if i didn't already mention that but there's valuable info coming in maybe in regards to a new an opportunity for you a new position of some sort um, or a new investment but i wouldn't be surprised if you're learning about your money and career future uh, either way through spiritual guidance through uh, light workers like myself maybe readers um could be you uh you know utilizing your own skill set or two in order to get it gain a bit of insight bear with me a bit of clarity if you will but i'm feeling like you are uh, throughout the month either way gaining clarity on um as well why a situation or two tied to your money and career didn't work out and maybe why something currently isn't meant to last much longer okay um even if you have uh minimal or no clarity on what time period uh what that time period looks like for you but um i feel like this is a time where these small increases are going to feel good it's uh reminding you of the value that you uh, show that you bring to the table in every situation that you're wrapped up with that you embark upon um experience wise but i feel as if there's a value to a project a business a job your work of some uh sort there's a value to it and people are um seeing an increase in that throughout the month but i feel like there's more than one honest assessment taking place on one level you're honestly assessing even in a silent way at certain points your own work the the progress you're making maybe being critical of uh, certain bad choices if we're being honest that you've made financially and or uh, work wise um rewinding back regardless i feel like we need to not be hard on ourselves and just make smart choices nobody's perfect all right we're growing learning and sometimes lessons uh, take a few um a few tries in order to just actually sink in so be it everybody's different but there's a fresh start on the horizon for a lot drawn to the reading whether it's just a new opportunity or it could be more than one new opportunity if we're being honest whether expansion is about to come to be for something continuing it could be a new investment like a place to live um, it could be a new a vehicle of some sort excuse me um, a better way to get around but it could also be a new opportunity like a new job or a new business idea to get off the ground um, i'm hearing a new business partner for somebody but um, either way i feel like there is steady work in for some one way but then another way it's not a steady there's steady work uh, steady opportunities more than enough when it comes to that lying ahead so don't fret okay but um, again every bit adds up and counts the anchor card talking about money blocks being stuck and financially sound some of which onto the reading i will be honest i'm getting financially stuck sort of energy whether it's uh partially or fully due to you or not every situation is different there's a need to uh to take a hard honest look 
again, honest assessment as to why that is and uh, tread carefully and strategically moving forward, um, but with confidence, okay? And manifest improvement in that sense. But I wouldn't be surprised if either way, regardless of what your finances look like, whatever your situation looks like, the month as a whole in February uh, does highlight and push you to or motivate you more so to focus upon financial improvement, right? Again, it could be a goal or two. It could be debt for some. It could be getting just back on track in general, making more, right? Um, but I feel like even though there's more money coming in this month, I feel like for a lot in comparison to recently, um, or maybe a past similar opportunity of some sort, um, you're going to experience the upcoming months being uh, past February, right? March um, and whatnot being like, I want to say, was it um, Aquarius's reading? More lucrative, okay? More money flowing in, more rewards in general, more success. Um, and so I feel as if uh, that reiterates how all the small um, increases in whatnot are um, important. It reminds you how important they are on a multitude of levels, okay? Not just adding up, but also supporting the future of one of not multiple aspects of your money and career. Now, moving on to the cup card, we're talking about overflowing prosperity, a full or, or empty account, okay? Um, I almost read that as full or empty cup. I feel as if there is a true amount of prosperity flowing in for you, overflowing from your cup at certain points um, throughout the month. And this needs to be, again, utilized strategically to support a goal or two, um, a change or two to help you feel comfortable about your future, or at least more so. Um, I'm hearing improvement is the name of the game, but there's a nurturing vibe about your energy, how you take care of business, how you water something of importance for you, whether it's more so just financially or uh, success wise or career wise, could be more than one um, of what I just mentioned, but there's a taking care of business way about how you're approaching things flowing through the month. I'm hearing bonding and uh, even disconnecting. And I feel like uh, you're really trusting your intuition even more than you realize in the moment, and this is benefiting you. But the number three is quite relevant for you, I wanna say maybe for more than one reason, um, but you're going to feel fulfilled throughout the month. Now in one scenario, one situation, whether it's at home, at work, maybe your business, it's not fulfilling, it's not doing it for you. You may already be changing this up in the near future. I feel like for some it's at the end of this month or the beginning of the following one. But either way, this is a learning and forming and a reminding kind of experience for you where um, you might even still be uh, succeeding and um, achieving quite efficiently regardless of what that situation brings uh, imperfection-wise or negativity-wise or toxicity-wise. I feel like uh, this reminds you of the power within to thrive and succeed pretty much within every situation. Um, but not to hold on to or allow in general when it comes to your future limitations and restrictions and that kind of toxicity either way, but you get the point. You're very powerful. Um, but we're pulling one card for each of, one tarot for each of the Oracle. Bear with me, I've been reading a lot. That might be a key message for somebody. But the six of coins, I just heard abundance and I saw it in caps, okay, being typed out. The six of coins for the nugget card because there's abundance, my friend. There's increase after increase after increase, leaving you with more wealth to be increased uh, for you individually, um, to be adding up. But wealth isn't just finances, right? It's not just uh, financial increase throughout the month. It's absolutely part of it and needed, I want to say, and wanted even more so. But I feel like there's a wealth of attention for some. There's a wealth of uh, more security for some. There's um, so many different meanings uh, and uh, subcategories of wealth uh, and abundance that you are receiving at this time and will more so moving forward. It feels like things are being swapped around for you at certain points, differing from case to case. This will be interesting to witness, to be part of, and this will teach you something of significance for the next chapter. Anyways, the anchor card is paired with temperance. Um, I just heard for some of Sagittarius, maybe a significant um, part of your month um, and even more so moving forward. But I do feel as if you are uh, needing to have patience, okay? When it comes to, for again, that select few John to the reading, a money block or two or that stagnancy that you've been dealing with. Uh, maybe in regards to a habit or two of yours, 
um, or maybe a habit or two of somebody else's at work and or at home. Um, maybe that situation in general that we were speaking upon before that just, ugh, just not, not it, okay? Um, as I just got kind of tight in the chest and struggled to breathe a bit. We can't be holding on to things like that moving forward. But um, I do feel like either way, ooh, we didn't even speak upon this. Financially sound, my friend. Spirit is reminding you that you, or informing you maybe for the first time for some, that you need to have patience now and imp implement more balance moving forward, bear with me, in order to um, be one with this financially sound future that you're meant to have. I feel like there's nothing to be concerned about, but you still will be concerned to an extent. And there's somebody else that's even more concerned. But there's some important reflecting on bad choices, maybe even positive choices when it came to your money recently. And I want to say when it came to a past career opportunity or two. Um, I'm being drawn to the heart. Somebody loves what they do, whether it's a business, a job, uh, a project, a hobby, um, a side hustle is what I'm hearing, you name it. But either way, I feel like Libra, it's a month where the love, the appreciation, the, um, okay, the honest assessments in a positive way are even coming towards you. It feels like people are supporting you and that's not just um, people watching your content or supporting your work somehow or um, you know, working with you, it feels like, or benefiting from you, it feels like it's also spiritual, okay? There's a lot of spirits, um, not even just your guides, but randomly visiting you, being drawn to you, called to you, in order to maybe help you have more patience, more balance, but to support your endeavor currently, but to prepare you more so for an upcoming change or two for the future, and to see things a lot more comfortable, stable, uh, to ensure that you have this wealthy future that you're meant to have, right? Um, but the cup card pairing with the Queen of Swords, we're needing to release this or that habit-wise or maybe perspective-wise, fear or doubt-wise in order to um, appreciate and manifest more of this overflowing prosperity. And I feel like you're going to see each ounce, each bit of success throughout the month um, feel even more significant than the last uh, bit of success. Does that make sense? And so it feels like your appreciation, your gratitude for each bit of that success is um, snowballing or it's just growing as the month trickles on. And so you can expect that to happen even more so moving forward. Um, people know, okay, that you know what you're doing. People trust you. I feel like there's uh, a way about how you get the word out there, how you communicate, how you bond, how you accomplish, and also how you're um, allowing yourself or pushing yourself um, to uh, strategically release and hold back throughout the month when it comes to money, when it comes to work. Um, uh, yeah, just trusting your intuition and selectively spirit through it all to have even more prosperity moving forward and to ensure that you're even more successful um, in certain ways when it comes to, again, I want to say a change um, on the horizon. But I also feel like there's a focus on one, if not a couple accounts for you that feel quite bare. But I feel like uh, Spirit's saying, envision that, uh, imagine that being uh, filled to the brim, overflowing again with, um, in this case, financial uh, abundance. And I feel like that's guaranteed for you moving forward. Okay. They're saying own it, embrace it. Um, and know that you're able to manifest even more of what you wish for, what you desire, what you need. Um, I feel like there's a very bright future for you lying ahead when it comes to your money and career. Um, 1351, look up the angel number meaning. 1351. I'm hearing sometimes you have to spell it out. Sometimes you have to spell it out for somebody. But um, the world card coming out, it feels like this is a time for you, Libra, where the success coming to be, the money flowing in, the other levels of abundance, wealth, and prosperity is changing your world for the better. You may be prepared for or being pushed towards a, a change and evolution, a development of some sort, of course, tying to your money and career that's going to even more so change your world for the better. The positives and the negatives, the... Um, I'm hearing the flowing and the not flowing of a situation is taking a highlight. Um, the expectations, the mystery of the future of a situation or the possibilities, all of which is going to be taking a focus. But I feel like you're 
growing, you're glowing through your work, the clouds are clearing, and I just heard somebody can effing get over it, okay? Somebody can get over it. I also feel like there's somebody less mature than you in your, uh, in your midst, whether it's at home and or at work. Patience, my friend, patience. Take a deep breath, it's not worth it, okay? If that's the case, I feel like that presence in your life, that part of your their existence in your life is very temporary and it is not worth it once again. But I also, I just heard pick and choose your battles. And that could um, definitely be when it comes to an authority figure for some. But yeah, the moon card. And I feel like if uh, there might also be an emotional uh, figure is what I heard, an emotional individual energy uh, in your midst or several. But I wouldn't be surprised if you're picking up on, uh, for some select Libra and to the reading, emotions for work or while you're working, while you're trying to replenish and heal or strategize, get ready. Um, but mystery is coming into play. You might be clearing up the mystery for yourself and or other people or somebody, but I wouldn't be surprised if spirit is pushing you to embrace certain levels of mystery uh, and magic when it comes to the future of your money and career because I feel like you're being prepared to fly towards um, a lot of mysterious success, but you can feel that things are meant to improve and you're absolutely correct when it comes to what you're feeling. So trust that 1000%. Let's pull a couple more. 16, 18, as well look up that angel number meaning, but pairing together with the two cards I was just holding up, the eight of swords um, going with the moon card because uh, the negative aspects of this card that we were speaking of on the emotion and, uh, and whatnot is uh, absolutely wrapped up with and stemming from what's leaving you feeling trapped and limited to an extent. Um, but there's also, again, for some of which, mystery in regards to a release of whatever this Eight of Swords might be speaking upon for you. Financial burden, um, maybe debt when it comes to a commitment that's too heavy for you or too much for you to keep going with. Um, it could be in regards to, okay, more, more comfort and more success. Anyways, I feel like there's um, a, a lot of this moving forward for you. Let's just put it that way. Putting it in reverse, a lot of uh, movement, progression, and even more so moving forward. And what does take place in that sense throughout this month prepares you for that moving forward. But I feel like there's a lot of clarity, uh, less emotion, less bad energy. Um, so trust in the choices and the intuitive and spiritual guidance you're getting at this time. But I also feel like there's a new opportunity right around the corner for you that's going to leave you with more chances to succeed, more money, more wealth in general. And I feel like you're also thinking about a new place to live for some, right? Or how to improve your current one if you don't see it changing up. But I feel like there is a world evolving success once again that's leaving you with more abundance in general, more to become a state of prosperity. Um, I want to pull one or two more. Um, I'm also hearing nature will be your best friend if Mother Nature allows it. But we're going from the Ace of Cups. Um, and let's be honest, even feeling like this at certain points throughout the month, uh, realistically, to feeling more like this, um, okay, by the halfway point of the month. So your midway reading should be quite um, informing. But uh, definitely by the end of February, this energy period, you'll be feeling more like your abundance is uh, overflowing from your cup and uh, leaving you with prosperity. And again, I want to uh, reiterate the word wealth um, being more than just finances. But I feel like there, for a lot drawn to the reading, there's an abundant new beginning, uh, quite uh, uh, becoming quite real for you as the month trickles on. It could be at the end of the month. It could be at the beginning if I didn't say that already. But either way, I feel like there's a lot of spirits um, preparing to and at this time even, but more so moving forward, supporting this cup, supporting this situation, supporting um, the abundance and prosperity that's meant to increase and blossom for you moving forward because you deserve it and you've been through enough. One or two more. Um, yeah, with the Page of Swords and the Magician, you're manifesting more, my friend. You're manifesting exactly what you need and want moving forward. So tread carefully and know the power, uh, remember the power that lies within. But I wouldn't be surprised if you're learning more about what you're going to manifest moving forward when it comes to your money and career. But to wrap this up, Libra, in a very positive way, February is a truly important shifting uh, preparatory kind of month for you 
where you're again succeeding left and right and it's changing your world for the better um, in so many amazing ways it's leaving you with that uh, abundance prosperity but most importantly multiple different forms of wealth okay so if this was truly helpful i'm sending you so much love and light libra go enjoy your month and i'll see you next time